Stop what you're doing. Sound the alarms. Whoop, 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 whoop. Who watches uh, cart narcs on YouTube? Anyway, don't get distracted. This is an emergency queen box because I'm being eaten alive. And, well, of course, you know where I order everything and it came in. So we're doing a one item queen box. It's, well, it's this item. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but it should prevent me from being eaten alive. I hope. So one item, we'll take a look at it. We'll unpack it and take a look at it, see if it works or kind of works, I guess. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Right, so back to the normal Queen box view. Uh, yeah, so mosquitoes and all kinds of little critters are starting to come out of the woodwork. Well, not literally, but I mean, our houses aren't, our houses aren't even made of wood. Uh, but, the, you know, those pesky little mosquitoes and little flies and we need to get rid of them. So, I ordered two new anti-flying around, irritating me to a lot devices. I don't need that. Mm, yes. Lots of great packaging here. Oh, okay. We need scissors. We must use the scissors. Because I don't know, is this stuff free in China? I always wonder. Oh, okay. So watch out, there's already stuff here. <laughs> But hey, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not complaining they packed it well, so, yeah. Sometimes it may sound like that, but I don't, I don't. Oh, look at that. They even included, wow, they even included an adapter with the right pinout for the country I live in. It is, however, I mean, my scissors weigh five times as much as this adapter. It's, it's five volt, one amp, but they're can't be much in there. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's turn the rest here. Okay. 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 That should do it, I think. There's so much bubble wrap. It's amazing. I at least have a dollar worth of bubble wrap. I'm pretty sure of that. So let's see maybe if I can slide it out of its bubble wrap prison. There we go. Oh, look at that. One more desk adapter. Okay. Oh, little cable. Um, I think those might be wall mount things. Little cards. Let's, leave, let's read those in a minute. Because there is a second one in here. If I can free it. So, these are two anti-mosquito or uh, other pests that are flying around in your room devices. And, uh, well, I need them because, you know, it's starting to get uh, spring, summer, and yeah. Electric mosquito lamp. Exactly. That's exactly what I need. Warranty card. Certificate. Huh. Please open in advance, at least three hours. Do not open it until sleeping. What? What does that even mean? Let me... <laughs> no idea. Okay. Thank you. Yes. No problem. After you receive it. <laughs> More warranty cards. Nice. Okay. So, um, there's two variants I bought. There's this uh, white one. Uh, which I believe you can, oh, uh, oh, okay, I thought you could fold it open, but you can't fold it open, but this bar does fold, so you can, uh, so it looks like that, and, uh, you know, you can set it down on your desk. There is a USB-C charging port here, oh, and I actually thought about being able to reach it, and I'm not sure if this one has a battery or the other one. 
So it needs 5 volt 1 amp. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna work. There we go. It needs five volt one amp, and then it says something about four hours. So that might mean there is a battery in there. Uh, I have a USB C plug here. Let's take a look at this one first, and then we'll take a look at the second one. Okay, so we're not gonna use the included cable. I'm just gonna, you know, I always have some USB C lying around on my desk because of the Queen LED boards, of course. And, uh, okay, let's plug it into my charger. And then let's plug it into here. No, that's not, that's not gonna fit. So because of the outer shell, uh, my charger plug won't fit. I'm betting theirs does. Uh, maybe, yeah, theirs fits through the hole exactly. But I have a Besus one here and that's, it's just a little bit too thick. Oh, oh uh, well, I guess we can tell there's a battery in there. I just turn it on. Uh, but if we move that out of the way, yeah, we uh, we can plug it in. It's drawing 5.1 volts, uh, 0 0.6 amps. It's pretty okay. And well, I it turned on because the on button is over here. So on, uh, off, on. How does that work? Need to hold it? No. Oh, okay, now it turns on. Maybe you can't turn it on and off real quick. Don't know. Uh, yeah, it has a little light bar over there. And in theory, this mesh over here, can I lay it flat? Oh, kinda, yeah. This mesh over here is now electrified. You know me. Um, I think we need to test that. <laughs> So let's uh, poke it with a screwdriver, which is always a good idea. Where's my, where's my glasses? <laughs> there's no mains on there. There's just a battery, but the battery can put out quite a bit of amps. And in theory, this should be, you know, a 3.7 volt battery or five volt USB, but then up it to, or boost it to 1000 volt to zap the insects. So here goes nothing. Well, Sure, that worked. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, um, if it does that to my screwdriver, a little mosquito stands no chance whatsoever. And in theory, they'll be attracted to this beautiful purplish blue light. In practice, I don't know. Now let's turn it off, see if it's still charged. Oh, it's actually not, okay. Okay, well, can't turn it on again. Oh, there, oh, oh, it takes a little bit to turn on. Turn on. No. Turn on. No. I don't know, maybe you have to press it twice. It turned on, and now, yep, yeah, yeah, it zaps. <laughs> so, I don't know what more it needs to do. There's no fancy features other than maybe fly or insect is attracted to that little light it flies through here hopefully it touches the right things zap it's gone <laughs> that's all it needs to do and oh well, well there is a battery because i just unplugged it and uh yeah let's see if it still zaps on battery oh yeah <laughs> so that works okay uh well this feels kind of flimsy this little bar here because you know, it can go all everywhere. But then again, if you just, uh, you can actually hang it. So it goes all the way flat. So you could hang this off the wall, I think, or maybe this way around, but then it couldn't fly through it. Uh, so I think what it's meant for is really to stand it on your desk, like, uh, like so. And you know, it's feels sturdy enough. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I have no clue how well it works. It zaps with my screwdriver. That's basically all I can tell you. This is still a queen box. This is not a one month experience report, but let's move on to the, uh, to the second one. Uh, the second one basically has the same s uh, sticker on top. So five volt, uh, one amp, and it has a thousand volts and it takes four hours to charge probably. 
Okay, sure, sure. Um, Design-wise, this one's, I think, more pretty, but less practical, because this, yeah, this white thing doesn't move, while on the other you can, you know, stand it on a table. Oh, the power button is on the bottom. It does have hooks here to hang it from, I think. Oh, this might have gotten dislodged during shipping a little bit. Well, oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, that's not right. Let's leave it for now. It's probably fine. Uh, but same principle, I think you... Uh, Oh, double click seems to turn it on. There's a little light over there, which is supposedly attracts the insects to fly in here. And then uh, let's do the screwdriver screw screwdriver test again. Yep, it needs to. Oh yeah, okay, yeah that works. <laughs> uh, let's see where to turn it off. Let's see where the charge port is. Okay. Charge port is here. Uh, I think you still do you stand it like this? I don't know. So like that. Let me go to the other camera. Do you think you should set it down like like so, on the table, or like this? I guess it can go both ways. But the sticker is over here, so likely this is meant to be the top. So then it goes like this, and then. You know, it makes more sense because the button is also here on top. So, yeah, turn it on. You can't really reach the zappy part. That's good. It's protected with plastic bars and stuff like that. Okay, so we set it down like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's plug it into the charger. It's probably going to do the same thing. No issues with my uh, normal cable here. Oh, it's doing 0 0.7 amps. It's about the same. Let's turn it off. Oh, now it's doing 0 0.3 amps. So maybe this battery is already more charged or not. But it seems that if you run it, at least this one, we'll test it with the other one too. If you run this one with USB plugged in, it does actually use the USB power and not the battery power. So maybe you could use it on your desk during the day. And then if you want to take it to your bedroom, you just unplug it and run it from the battery power. Right? Okay, so let's check the other one. See if it does the same thing. Uh, we need to open it up because otherwise I can't reach the port. Um, so let's plug that in somewhere. Right? Okay, so it's already doing 0 0.6 because this battery is probably more flat. Yeah, it's still doing 0 0.6. So likely when the batteries charge, I can't imagine they really use a very different circuit between these two because they're clearly from the same company and uh, basically just a, a little different design. Uh, but the mesh and everything other is very much the same. This thing... It says 100 volt to 240 volt, 50, 60 hertz. But it's, I mean, my screwdriver is literally heavier than this thing. Can we break it open? Let's go into overtime. Queen box overtime. Um, how would we do that? Can we jam this in here? This is when I kill myself. I don't have a vice of knowledge from, uh, Big Clive. That would certainly open it up, I guess. Oh, wait. There's a... Oh, there's a lip over here. I can maybe reach into it. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh there's more, more circuit board there than I imagined. So, there's a transformer. A USB plug. Where's the rectifier? Is there a rectifier? Oh, yeah. Okay, so... It's not a full bridge rectifier, that's okay, but this could be an optocoupler. Let me... Now, I'm not an expert in diagnosing circuits like the other guys. There is a little uh, little chip here, which says... I can actually read it better on the screen. Um, well, there's the number. We can look it up later when I'm not recording. This looks like a little diode. 
Uh, well, we have a few resistors. Another diode, I think. There's lots of holes here. I don't know what those holes are supposed to do, because it's a one-sided PCB. So they're not vias. They're just... They're just holes. Um... <laughs> don't know what that does. <clears throat> but yeah, I, 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 I'm sure it kind of works, I guess. Uh, it's one of those uh, stick-on types, where it basically sticks onto the prongs. Uh, okay, I don't know how to put that back. I guess like that. I guess. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm never going to use this. A little capacitor here. Uh, those blue ones are, I believe, for uh, AC inrush limiting. I'm not sure. So if anyone wants to look it up, it's the ZDM1A02. Oh, it's it's 211? No, 21, 10, 22? What? That, that date's not happened yet. <laughs> it's amazing. This is the DC side, because... Yeah, the transformer's here. Well, maybe this is the DC side, and this is all still AC side. I don't know enough about AC power supplies, if that's not obvious by now. They did make a little effort for a slot here, because the distance over here... So the distance here and the distance here is bigger. It's not that great over here. But I did put a little slot here to eh, f make an effort. I just... Oh, wait. Those holes might be there so they can use through-hole parts or SMD parts. That's so weird. But then these are just in the middle of something, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. I'm not going to throw this away anyway, so yeah. Uh, last things, you get these flimsy... You, oh, wow. You get these flimsy USB cables uh, with the uh, uh, the mosquito lamps. Um, sure, uh, they'll likely do one amp. Uh, they're USB-C. Don't use them for anything else. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, <clears throat> and... Um, you get two hooks. Um, so I guess on this one, on the back, there is a, is that a punch out? Or how am I, how am I supposed to interpret that? Or, oh wait, I, you probably need to stick this one over here. And then it slots into this one. Yeah, yeah. So that slots together like that. Uh, so then you can probably hang it up. Okay, sure, it can work. And the other one, it's not meant for hanging up because it's a desktop model. So, yeah. Cool. Okay, great. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, emergency queen box finished. I can now automatically zap most of the bugs that have been bugging me in the house, I hope. Um, if you want to know how well it did, of course, there's going to be affiliate links in the description and stuff like that. But if you stumble across this video, like, in a few weeks from now, ask me in the comments how well it did, and I'll likely answer you. So, yeah. it's not much, too much to say about these. Construction is okay-ish, I guess. Uh, the, this little plastic piece here is slightly bent, but that's just cosmetic. So, it doesn't really impact functionality. And, uh... Yeah, don't be fooled by the pictures. This is all plastic. There's no metal there. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you guys back next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>